Hello and welcome to Apple A Day. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce mic bleed using Isotope's RX10 software. Now mic bleed or spill usually happens when two or more mics are in close proximity during a recording, like in an interview or a podcast. And what happens, uh, as an example, mic number one that is attached to person number one is picking up the audio of person number two. So in other words, person number two is bleeding into mic number one and vice versa, uh, person number one bleeds into mic number two. So why is this a problem? Well, it can impact the quality and the clarity uh, when the two tracks are mixed together and the sound can become either muddy or maybe a little harsh or a little bit piercing. You can fix some of it with equalization, but it's much better if it just didn't exist in the first place or if it was greatly reduced. So luckily, Isotope's RX10 software has the ability to substantially reduce that bleed. As you can see, I've got an example loaded up in RX10, and I'm going to show you how this works. So here I've got one track, podcast mic one, and here I've got the second track, podcast mic two. So in mic one, so I'll play back the audio for one of these louder areas. You dropped out, mm -hmm. you took care of your family, and... And that sounds pretty clear. That's the person who was mic'd up. So if I jump over to mic number two, play the same area right here. You dropped out, mm -hmm. you took care of your family, and... So you can see that mic two is picking up mic one, and of course that is the bleeding that we're getting. And just because I'm already here, I'm going to play back the person who was actually mic'd up in mic number two. That was the one that got me to where I am now and where I'm going next. And, you know, it was just... So that sounds pretty clear. I'm going to go back to mic number one and I will play his audio back. Uh, but that was the one that got me to where I am now and where I'm going next. So you can see lots of mic bleeding. So let's reduce that. How do we go about reducing that? I should mention that when you go ahead and use the de-bleed feature, you should make sure that all of the tracks, in this case just two, uh, they are the same length and that they are synced. As I already said, RX10 has a really cool way to reduce this problem. There is a module called de-bleed, and I'm going to bring it up by clicking on the de-bleed module right here. So the first thing you need to do is train RX10 so it knows the bleed sound before it can repair the bleed. So I'm in mic number one right now. And RX10 needs to learn the sound from mic two because it's mic two that's bleeding into mic one. So over here where it says select bleed source track, I'm going to choose podcast mic two. And you can always tell where you are with this active track. It tells me I'm in mic one. And of course, you don't want these two to be the same. So I'm in mic one. I'm going to get the sound from mic two and I'm going to learn that sound. And while I'm at it, I want to make sure that my reduction strength and my smoothing are set where I want them to be. And right now, these are good numbers. I know they work, so I'll leave those as is. I'm going to press learn. And this will take a minute or two, depending on how long your file is. Okay, that's done. So I'm just going to select a piece of audio here. I'll just play that back. That, right? So I had no time for passion. And that's the bleed you can hear coming through. I'm going to press preview. And you can hear how much that's been dramatically reduced. That's an acceptable amount of bleed that's not really going to cause any issues. So in order to render this whole file, I'm just going to select everything and click on render. And that'll take a couple of minutes. So did you see that? Did you see the change in the waveform for the audio that was bleeding? I'll show you again. I'm going to go back to the initial state. So that's how loud it was. All this right here. And I'll click on de-bleed. And wow, what a difference. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to do the same thing for mic number two. Go back to this. I'm going to learn mic one. So mic two is the active track. Mic one is the source track of the bleed. That's what we're going to learn. I'm going to run this. All right. Now that that's finished, oops, with everything still highlighted, I'm going to press render. And you can see that it had the same change in the waveform of the audio that was bleeding from mic number one into this mic, which is number two. That's before and after. So this is a great tip for anyone recording podcasts or interviews where you're recording with separate mics. 
and you just want to have better sound. All right, well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. My name is John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day. <music>